This is a knife review on the Cold Steel GI Tonto. Um, comes with the Secure X Sheath, this version of it, which is nice because it's easy to clean. It's got a drain hole at the bottom. Uh, this one's not bad. I mean, it locks in pretty good. So, that's good. I know uh, Cold Steel is inconsistent about their sheaths. Uh, I've seen videos of people that have sheaths that are really tight and it's hard for them to come out. And I have videos of ones that just fall out. You know, you turn it upside down, you give it a little shake. You know, give it a shake like that and it falls out. Which, obviously, is no good. So, the sheaths goes with them. It's really the luck of the draw if you get a good one or not. This one's been pretty good. It was really tight at first, and it's kind of broken in. It's been the same for a while now. I mean, I've really gone, you know, I've done this many times. So it, it seems good now. Uh, get on to the knife. It's a 1055 carbon steel, 12 inches overall, 4 mil thick, 10.6 ounces. Uh, the MSRP on this is $36.99, um, which is pretty cheap. You're getting a pretty good knife. Nothing fancy at all about this knife, knife except for decent steel, decent design, you know, pretty comfortable. And it's a great utility use knife. I mean, it's not pretty. It's not you know, gold armored plated or whatever, it is it is what it is, pretty simple, basically they took a sheet of metal, stamped it out, cut it, and, you know, ground it and sharpened it, that's about it, and threw a couple grivery handles on it, cheap knife, I got it for 23 bucks, but, you know, it's got this Teflon coating, which wears off basically right away, but it's a good knife for the price. I don't mind buying it. I'd get another one. And you really can't beat the price for it, but it is simple. If you want something nice and good looking, then you're going to have to pay, you know, 25 more dollars. You know, this one's half the price, but it's also half the looks. Um batoned with it, that's what took all the Teflon off right here. Not real heavy batoning. I mean, it was only batoning stuff about that thick. But, you know, about an hour's worth of batoning, and it came off basically right away. But it holds a good edge. I've only strapped it. Oops. And if you know how to cut a sheet of paper, it cuts great. Um, not much else I can say. It is a 1055 carbon steel, so it will rust on you. I have a little bit right here. I must, uh, as you can see, the rest of this blade's nice and clean. And then you get to the tip, and you can see right there is, I'm going to have to touch that up. No big deal, as long as it's just a little bit of a patina on there. Just take it on some 1,000 grit sandpaper, and it'll take that right back thing about that is if you don't keep these oiled, just that little bit of rust dulls it. So like this part's actually duller than here. Not a big deal. Another thing I noticed about this, the grind, you can't really see it on camera. Not completely even. Like right here, you can see this is where the point is. But up here, it comes down like this, where the blade goes into its turn you know it's right here but over on the main grind on the secondary bevel it's down here but on the main grind it's right here I mean it's just it's cheap but it functions very well for the price there's nothing out there that I've seen for this price that's can, that can compare that's what cold steel is good about they're not to me not at all the greatest knives but for the prices of them they're pretty damn good um, one, one major thing that I don't like about this knife is this right here, 
you know, they give you this choil right here, but you basically have to have like a trigger grip around that, which isn't comfortable. <clears throat> if you wanted to do woodworking with it, you know, you'd hold it like that, and this digging in the palm of your hand sucks. So I'm going to take a Dremel and just come across there, smooth that out. The only thing about that is you have to modify the sheath so it'll still lock in there nice and tight. And then one other thing when you're batoning, this false edge right here is, it's not paper cutting sharp, but it is sharp enough to cut wood. And when you're batoning on the tip here, it will end up chopping the piece that you're hitting the knife with in half after a couple minutes. So that sucks. If you're using this for mainly batoning and outdoorsing in that sense, then you definitely want to get rid of this. If you're using it for animals, I guess if you got in a knife fight with an animal, you'd want that stabbing power, but if the animal's already dead and you're using this to cut pieces off of it, you don't really need this sharp of a tip, because this is a very sharp tip. But, <clears throat> that's about it. Uh, you really do get what you pay for. You get a little bit more in this knife, but it's not a pretty knife, you know, there's obviously um, things that aren't so beautiful about it, but the functionality and util utility use is good, it's just not so good on the fit and finish. Um, so, uh, that's my review on the Cold Steel GI Tonto.